It is a unique perspective, one that is only known by people who have lived it. Thank you so much for joining us for Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Tonight, only on 7, Michigan's longest serving nonviolent offender weighs in on life after lockup for another infamous Michigan ex-con. We're talking about the unlikely duo of Rick Wershe and former Detroit mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick. Well, tonight, 7 Action News reporter Simon Shekhead talks with white boy Rick about his message for Kwame during the time they served together behind bars. Rick Wershe was a teenager when he went away to prison for more than 32 years for a nonviolent crime. Now an advocate for prison reform, he says Kilpatrick deserves to be set free. Seeing him hug his kids at the airport, he's going to get to see his mom and dad. I didn't get all those chances. But I'm happy that he is. Back in the Detroit area, where he's advocating for prison reform and helping former offenders through the organization Team Wellness, Rick Wershe knows firsthand what it's like to spend more than three decades behind bars, something he says he's glad will not happen to former mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. He deserves a chance at redemption. Redemption now possible after seven years, compared to the 28 years Kilpatrick was originally sentenced to for public corruption and other felonies. Rick says, above all, Kilpatrick deserves to be reunited with family and to be a better role model to his kids. I spent time with Kwame in prison. He's, he's very educated. He's very remorseful. He, he's not, you know, this arrogant person that everybody thinks that he is. I think he can do a lot of good, man. I think what the president did was a great thing for him, for his family. Rick adds he's not a danger to society and expects Kilpatrick to continue to mentor young men and advocate for reform as he did in prison. Everybody makes mistakes, some bigger than others. Give him a chance. You know, America was built on second chances. So this lock him up and throw away the key mentality, it has to go away. Rick acknowledges Kilpatrick broke the law, but says there's no reason to keep him locked up longer than killers and other people committing sex crimes. The decision that he made, it wasn't just based on letting Kwame out. It was based on, it was a nonviolent crime. It was a crime that he was overpunished for. 28 years for a nonviolent crime. Anyone who believes that you deserve 28 years, you don't belong working in our justice system. And I don't think people realize I did 30, almost 33 years in prison. My family suffered immensely. Rick also says Kilpatrick's powerful voice is enough to also change people's minds about important issues such as mass incarceration. Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News.